So guys, when I was TG fighting analyst and uh, back with another video on who wins. Uh, now this is going to be a very interesting one, everybody. So this is Leo Wood versus Josh Warrington. Now this is taking place this Saturday. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, interesting event, everybody. Very, very interesting. I'm going to be doing a full fight breakdown and prediction on this fight, everybody. It's going to be a very, very good one, I think. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to do a full breakdown and prediction. So let's get into this video. So we're going to start off with uh, Leo Wood, right? So we got uh, Leo Wood, all right? So, uh, you know, right now, yeah, <clears throat> he's currently, what's his record? I think he's 20, 27 and 3, or 20 and 3, somewhere around there. But I know he has three losses, but... Yeah, it's three losses and as well no one loss goes to Mauricio Lara. And yes, he did beat him in the second fight coming around. Um but his yeah, his first defeat was like a shocking KO loss. It was like a it was a KO loss that looked quite crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, just the way he fell and just just the way it ended really. It was just all over as soon as he dropped, and that was really the spell the end of that fight. And uh you know, Leah Wood is a very, very good boxer. <clears throat> a very good boxer. Very, 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 very good boxer. Um, you know, he got some impressive wins too. He got some impressive wins of uh, Michael Conlon. Yes, Mauricio Lara. I did beat Mauricio Lara, you know, a recent, quite recently. And, uh, you know, he had other good wins as well. But um, they were his most, uh, you know, well-known wins. Uh, when he did beat Michael Conlon and he did knock him out in the ring and stuff like that, it was, <coughs> it was quite crazy. So yeah, Leo Wood, very, very good boxer, everybody. Um, very underrated in a lot of different ways. Very underrated, yeah, because he is a solid boxer. The way he's, you know, he, he's a sharp shoot. Well, he's, he, he's, you know, he's very, very tactical in there. What the way he did against uh, Mauricio Lara was very, very tactical. It was uh, the second fight, especially. It was a clinic. He literally destroyed him every single round against Mauricio Lara in the second fight. The first fight, it, he wasn't there. But in the second fight, it was completely and utterly a different game plan. It was basically hit to not get hit. It was just a perfect game plan for Leo Wood. He just able to <coughs> literally outbox Mauricio Lara. Didn't even get uh, a chance for a Mar or Mauricio Lara to, you know, to engage or to even connect or to explode to hit you know, Leo Wood at all. He, he just did such a good job defensively. Now, um, yeah, so that's Leo Wood, everybody. Very, very good boxer. So <clears throat> now we're going to go on to Josh Warrington. I'm just breaking down a bit, you know, a bit of their careers here. So we've got Josh Warrington. So Josh Warrington, you know, very good boxer. Um, right now he has three, two losses, two losses. He has two losses. Yes, he do has two, two losses. Uh, he did lose to what's the name of the guy? Um, yeah, he did lose to Marie. Uh, both of them has lost to Mauricio Lara, and he did lose to another Mexican guy. I can't remember his name, but I uh, did lose to him as well. It was by disqualification, or I, I did lose by disqualification because of the headbutts and uh, multiple <coughs> multiple head clashes. It was crazy. That fight was a mess. I'm, I will literally do my research after this, everybody. I don't even know. I can't remember his name. Uh, this Mexican guy. Let me know if you do know, obviously, about it, you know. Uh, but that ended in head clashes and it just, it this, you know. Um, Josh Warrington, everybody, he is, a, he is a good enough fighter, but there is problems with his style. Uh, the way he fights, it's... I don't know, it's quite brawly or rough or something, but I can tell you his best, you know, his, his, his most impressive wins to Carl Frampton, Lee Shelby. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of fighters here. Uh, when he beat, what was that? Uh, that's a like Kid Galahad. That fight was a close fight. That fight was actually controversial. Um, <clears throat> you know, it was a very, very close fight, that one. It could have went either way, but uh, yeah, Josh Warrington got the nod for that one. Um, so yeah, you know, he had, <coughs> he had impressive wins, everybody. And, um, you know, Josh Warrington is a good boxer though, but he does tend to get rough in there at times. He gets flat footed, he gets hesitant and, uh, yeah. So, you know, <coughs> Josh Warrington kind of just needs to just improve his boxing 
stop driving his head into his opponents because that's not gonna really really gonna help Josh Warrington at all you know coming into this fight especially and uh just in general in the future in this career because right now it doesn't look good um you know after the Mauricio Lara lost, I don't know if he is the same fighter anymore. I really, really don't. But I'm not having made any prediction anymore. <coughs> any, <coughs> haven't made any prediction yet, everybody. But we're going to go into the breakdown of this fight. So what I think, what's going to happen, right? I literally think Leo Wood's going to start off <coughs> slow, you know. I think it's going to start off slow in the first round. Uh, I don't think Josh Warrington, you know, is going to get very, you know, uh, explosive in there. He does tend to get explosive because I remember he did be very explosive against Carl Frampton. He was literally, <coughs> he's literally walloping Carl Frampton. He destroyed Carl Frampton. Uh, but Carl Frampton's way past his best when that, uh, you know, when that fight did happen. Um, you know, his past his prime and stuff. But yeah, he was... Just throwing hands in Carl Frampton. It was crazy. It was just a full... I don't even know how Carl Frampton lasted a full 12 rounds of, in the pace. It was crazy. But, um, yeah, I literally think Leo Wood is going to just use his, you know, distance management. He's just going to, you know, calculate. Uh, try to use the jab. Try to, you know, to execute the jab. Um, you know, going through the first round, the second round, the third round, the fourth round. You know, it's going to go all the way. <clears throat> you know, it's going to build up, build up, build up. Josh Warrington, you know, he's going to struggle, I think. Uh, he's going to struggle to, you know, to uh, deal with that style that Leo Wood has when it comes to literally tactical, uh, you know, just tactical and ring generalship. And I wouldn't say he has the best ring generalship, Leo Wood. You know, he tend to get into these brawl exchanges at times. And he doesn't stick with the game plan of the job, stay, stay, you know, stay, not get hit, move. But what the performance he did against Mauricio Lara was very, 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 you know, aware. He was very aware that, <clears throat> you know, of, of, of Mauricio's power because Lara is powerful. He, he literally can knock you out in both hands um, because he's just he's just a hard puncher. Um, so basically, yeah. Um, I already just think this fight is going to be very, very technical. You know, it's it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a chess. I think it's going to be a chess game for for Leo Wood. I think the way it, just the way he's going to just box, you know, Josh Warrington. So I'm going to be making my prediction in this fight. Literally, everybody, I literally think um, Leo Wood gets this done. Uh, Leo Wood does get this done. Uh, by unanimous decision. Um, it could be a late stoppage. You never know, but <clears throat> I don't think you'll knock out um Josh Warrington. I think Josh Warrington is more tougher than you think. Uh, because Mauricio Lara is hard is a hard puncher, and he did yes he did stop Josh Warrington, but I just don't think Leo Wood has the power to stop. Uh. Josh Warrington because he did everything to stop Michael Conlon. Yes, he did stop Michael Conlon, but guys, that fight was a war. That guy was that fight was considered the fight of the year. Of was it last year? <laughs> yeah, so the fight of the year, everybody. So you know, just think about that, and um, that's the reason why he got knocked out because one of them was going to get knocked out because I remember you know Michael Conlon did get dropped. Uh, not Michael Conlon. <coughs> sorry, uh, Leo Wood get dropped. I think it was the second, uh, first or second round, somewhere around there. He did, yeah, he got dropped, and I literally, as soon as Leo Wood did get dropped, I literally thought the fight was just about it being over very quickly because Leo was hurt very badly coming back in that corner, but he was able to recover very, very well, able to exchange with Conlon, and was able to somehow put him away. It was just crazy, everybody. Me as an Irish man, you know. Um, seeing that fight, bro, was crazy, bro, and uh, it was just absolutely nuts. But anyway, everybody, yes. So that is my prediction: Leo Wood by unanimous decision. <coughs> it could be a late stoppage, though. It's possible, but I think unanimous decision. I think he's just gonna put a boxing clinic in there, or he could win by DQ by headbutts. Can <coughs> Josh Warrington with the old headbutt uh, tactic? It never works. It's just such a rough tactic. Um, I don't know, he's been just using his head lately since the, you know, the Mauricio Lara fight, the second fight with which Josh Warrington and Lara 2, 
uh, it ended in a no contest because of the head clashes because of the the cut. Um, so yeah, that is my prediction, everybody. Uh, this is gonna be Leah Wood by unanimous decision against Josh Warrington. I think Josh Warrington gets very hesitant in there. This is gonna be a twelve round clinic. Uh, by uh, you know, Leah Wood because he's just a sharp boxer. And uh, yeah, so guys, that's my prediction. Hope to see you guys in the video. I'm peace and see you in the next video.